There was a time when women were content to wear the trousers, but now they're wearing another conventional part of male dress, the waistcoat. Even at the fashion-conscious waistcoat club, men have to retire to the sidelines when the women put on their own show. June Oak Stars and Stripes are inspired by a honeymoon in America, but just as romantic as this outfit with the accent on glamour. Until now, waistcoats have been a symbol of men's fashion throughout history. And of course, waistcoats made of chain mail were worn on the battlefield. John Pertwee has a collection dating back 300 years. Perhaps that's why Jean Marsh sticks to an old-fashioned dress. But other women don't have the same respect. This is something really new. Geraldine Smith wears an embroidered waistcoat for the beach. The Pertwees were founder members of the Waistcoat Club, formed in 1953 to add a little colour to men's austere clothing. But Michael doesn't object to advice from his wife Valerie. Peter Cushing's contrast waistcoat and the type worn by Mike Hawthorne became fashionable in post-war years with the advent of the two-piece suit. A change of waistcoat gives a fresh complexion to a suit, besides originality, like the one worn by host Charles Stein. In the fashion, Helene Corday gets a few hints from expert James Norbury, but Sandra Dorn knows her waistcoat can knock spots off the others. Some men might complain, but if waistcoats can look like this on the fair sex, let's forget convention and give them equality. <laughs> 